So are you having fun yet? I certainly hope so. All right, so here's what we want to do next. For whatever reason, let's say that we want to create this section here. I want to make this section right here a slideshow presentation. So again, hold down the command key and the option key. Now, it's not totally necessary, but I just want to share with you that if you're trying to adjust or move something, so let's say I didn't hold down the option key and I just selected through here. Well, watch what happens. I'm going to move this as an example and that's not going to work because holding down the shift key and the command key, I take this and drag, see what's going to happen there? Now, unless you want some of that happening, that's cool. But I want to select all the objects plus their anchor points. I hold down the command key, Macintosh, control key for Windows, and the option key, all key for Windows, and select through that. So I want to turn this into a slider. Well, how do I do that? Well, again, command, option, equal. Hit the tab key once, twice, one, boom. Done. Pay me over. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't want to have this space here, then I can either choose to drop this down or move this up. Now, since my measurements are going from the top left-hand corner, it's probably going to make a lot more sense to add this down. So here's what I mean by this. I'm going to take this and just change it to a different color just so I can just visually see that it's different. Pay no attention to the colors that I'm picking. And I'm going to select that object holding down the command key plus the shift key and the option key and that object. So those objects are both selected. So I simply want to add 20 pixels to the bottom of this. And there you go. Now notice in this particular case that that moved it because I had that selected. So I could just take it and add this back in. Now if you don't want to do it that way then I can just select this and say plus 20 and then I can select this in say plus 20 if that's easier for you to do it that way because it's not going to kind of work out the same way for both. And again, if I want to butt this up against this, I can take this, the width of this, and say plus 20. So I can basically take that exact space there. So let's make this just a different color so I can just see that it's visually different. Because when I bring this in for a design comp inside of Dreamweaver to build my CSS for Dreamweaver or to build my CSS for um, uh, WordPress using the ultimatum theme, then I want to visually be able to see what I'm doing. If everything's the same color, it's going to make it really difficult. All right, so let's build the rest of this. Let's see what the exciting things that we can do here, right? So I'm going to take this. Let's make this. So we have 12 across. So if we go four, four, and four, so watch this. I'm going to take four, command, option, equals, and tab key one boom and for this actually my mistake on that didn't mean to do that command option equals meant to do uh meant to do uh make this one i just want to have this three across the page and i do the same thing here command option drag command option equals i type one hit the tab key again one Boom. Now, if it's simpler for you to do this at this point, then just take this and drag this to the right. And as I drag it to the right, hold down the option key and all that stuff, you can do that as well. So what I mean by that is if you know that you've got that section in there, I'm just going to delete this as an example. I'm just going to delete that. So I can actually take this and watch what I can do. I can actually take this and transform this, the width of itself plus 20. So what is the width of itself? Well, the width of itself is right here. Okay, so I can take that number and copy because I'm a lazy guy. Anything about the object is under the object menu. Object transform, transform, move. So I want to move this horizontally paste plus 20. Vertically, I don't want to move it. Zero. And I want to make a copy. So there's two. In command D, there's three. How cool is that let me do this again again I know that I know that I have that space to work with so I could have let me undo this for a second I could have done what we we're doing okay but you already know what the space is and you know it's gonna fit with 20 pixels so if I was to delete this let's go back let's go forward again actually I screwed that one up so let me just select this and let's do this again so I don't want to affect I need to select okay you with me on that good all right, now here's the width of it right there. It didn't matter what the width is. I know that that's going to fit plus 20 pixels, so I copied it. Anything about the object is under the object menu. 
object transform move. I want to move this horizontally. Paste plus 20 pixels. Vertically, I don't want to move it, so I need to put it in zero. Okay? Then I want to make a copy of this. And if you click the preview, it will actually show you what it's doing. And if I copy, there you go. So what I've done here is I have transformed the object. You with me? Transform the object. Anything about the object is under the object menu. Anything that falls under these categories, move, rotate, reflect, scale, shear, plus duplicating, which is holding on the option key, is a form of transformation. So I can repeat the transformation simply by hitting Command D. Okay, so really cool stuff here. So I can select this and hit Command D, and select it and hit Command D. In fact, I can move this all the way over to here by holding on the option key. I'm going to drag it right to the outside edge there. So I'm going to drag this down, hold down the option key to make a clone copy. I'm just going to drag that right to there just to demonstrate that. Now this is in the back, object arrange, arrange, bring to front, command and shift right bracket. So if I was to put this exactly the, on the X position, the X position needs to be set to uh, zero. So right now it's exactly in the X position. Okay. So watch this. I can take the same object in Command D. I'm sorry. I can take the same object, take the width of the object, whatever the, the object is, and just move it across the page, holding on the Command key and the Option key. And I can put that right there and just say Command D, Command D, Command D. Now let's say as an example that you want to fit this exactly across the page. So let's just pick a wacky width here. Let's just hit take, take this. I'm going to go to my uh, my transformation tool. I'm just going to hit the move tool. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, right to there. Now obviously three of these are not going to fit across. Okay, but here's what I can do. I can hold down the option key move this to the right. And as I move this to the right, I don't have to hold down the command key because I'm in the move tool. Hold on the option key and the shift key. Okay? And command D. Now obviously this is not going to fit because it's, the three of them can't fit there, but here's what I can do. I select them in order to affect them. I'm just going to zoom back out of here for a second. And now I can simply take these and drag that right into place. Or just drag that out to the edge. So either way you slice or dice this, Illustrator has some really cool techniques and tools you can use to get your outcome. Now I was just kind of showing off there a little bit, so we really don't want that there, but I'm just sharing with you that you can fit anything by using that same technique. Now I've decided that what I'd like to do is I'm going to have maybe a, a newsletter blurb or something on this box and a newsletter blurb on this box, but what I would like to do on this box is maybe some little teaser paragraphs. So let's go back to command, option, equal symbol. And let's break this up into, uh, actually, command, option, equal. Let's break this up into three rows. Again, 20 pixels in between. And just like that, I'm all set. Make a change, save a change. So this is how incredibly easy it is to get your layout and to get things fit proportionally. Now, if in fact you wanted to use the golden ratio on this, here's a simple way we could do this. So we could have taken this design here. In fact, let's hit the shift tab for a second. So we could have taken this, what we talked about before. I'm just going to move this down here for a second just to share with you a little technique here, holding down the option key and the shift key. So command option, I'm going to hold down the command key, move it as I move it, hold down the option key and the shift key and bring that to the front, uh, shift right bracket. Okay, now here's what I want to do. If you take that, remember we did this in our first video, I'm going to take that and copy that. And the one that I copied, I'm going to paste back in front. And the one that's back in front, shift tab, bring shift tab, remember shift tab hides, shift tab shows by secondary. So I can take that number and times 1.618. Boom. And I could just take that and put that. Now, technically, this would be a golden ratio. I'm just going to make a different color. Eyedropper and just sample this color right here. Now, this is in front, but I want to send this to the back. So anything about the object is under the object menu, object at range, and send back words. So basically, it's right behind it. Okay. Now, this, what this is doing, though, 
is this is telling me that these proportions, so if I wanted to then put this back into the space, and I want to work with those proportions here so I can do that. Okay, so let's select both of those objects. I select this object, I hold down the shift key, I select that object, and in the transformation tool, I can just take this and drag this right into place. So right there, I have my golden ratio design. So if I wanted to use that idea, what I probably could do is drag over a guide exactly right there, get rid of this, and then just reformat this. I'm just going to command plus, and I can actually make this golden ratio. So I'm going to take this and move this to the left. In fact, I could do this at the same time. So I'm going to select these two and move these out and then select this and move this back. So that is actually technically a golden ratio design because it's 1.618. So that's what I mean by that is that's just going to be more eye appealing. It's more conducive to, to a person visually looking at something. Incidentally, command zero fits in window, command minus zooms back out. Make a change, save a change. Now, how does this help us if we're going to take these pixel widths as an example? This is a pixel width of 597. This is a pixel width of 6, uh, 363. Obviously, this has a pixel width of 960 because it's full width, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, how does that help us respond to design? Well, next video, I'm going to share with you a very powerful technique of taking your pixel-based artwork, layout, comp, and converted it into percentages. So stay tuned.